Hi, I'm Fred Penner. I was born and raised here in Manitoba. I've been on this non-such many times over my life and with my children, but have you ever thought what kind of music they might have been playing back then? Well, this is one of the tunes. Well, I love the non-such. I don't just like the non-such. I love the non-such. The smell of the non-such I love. The sound of the non-such when you walk into this room. First off, it's not some small little guy around there. You've got a great, big, beautiful ship here. And then you actually get to go on it. You can smell it, you can touch it, and it is a real ship that sails. We often get people asking, you know, is this a real ship? And I can actually attest to that because when I was a child, I saw the ship on the water. I worked for Hudson's Bay Company from 1967 to 74, and my principal job while I was there was to manage this ship. And, and I've seen the reaction that she has. It, it's just one of surprise and awe. And to, uh, to come to Winnipeg as a young blue bomber in 1992 and get to, uh, to experience a taste of history from the Hudson's Bay Company like we have here at the Manitoba Museum, it's unbelievable. I loved the non-such ever since I was little. My grandpa took me on the boat. Grandpa would just bring me on board and show me and talk to me about what it was like at sea. And it's one of my fondest memories of the museum. When I get kids coming on board, I'll often tell them to use their imagination close their eyes and I said now when you open your eyes it will be June the 3rd 1668 and you'll be in Deptford Harbour and you can see London across the Thames River and kids can can really get into that because it is that real. Then you have to go through the entire gallery where there's all kinds of other wonderful things to do and to see and you end up at the non-such. It's such a rich basis for the existence of the museum. 